Here comes Wagtail. It's a lovely name, I think, and lovely name for a lovely boat. She's a 60-foot traditional stern narrowboat built in 2001 by Tim Tyler and Jonathan Wilson. And she's had a fair bit done to her over the last couple of years. The sides and the roof were repainted in 2021. She was blacked in 2021. Six new anodes put on her at the time, actually. The engine was serviced in December 2021. And there's a full survey available from December 2021 as well. That's in, in the office for viewing. So you can see the paint works very nice. Sides and roof. There's three side hatches on board, and I've not seen this on a boat before. They're sliding windows when you open the side hatches. They do lock the side hatches. There's a hole above for a padlock. Portholes throughout. Nine 12 inch brass portholes. Glazed stable doors at the front. It's a good size well deck, five foot eight inches long. The water tank's under here, it's a stainless steel, 630 litres. All the plumbing has been renewed on the boat, by the way, talking of water. That diesel tank in there, it's 50 litres, that feeds the diesel stove on board. It's a reflex diesel stove. Gas bottles are in the forward locker, there's two six kilo bottles there with a the manual changeover. So when we go to the saloon, she's conventional layout, so saloon first. Lovely feel to this boat, she's fitted out an oak face ply with oak trim. The saloon itself, 12, over 12 feet long, 12 foot 3 inches. Uh, sliding windows I mentioned. A couple of super comfy armchairs with footstools. The carpet in here is new as well. Well, all of the flooring through the, oh, the carpet is new and there's uh, eco tiles in the galleon bath and they're new. There's the diesel stove. Storage under the step here. The water pump's new as well. That television's a 29-inch LG. The Panasonic stereo as well. Shelving under the gunnels here. Central heating on board. It's a Webasto diesel-fired central heating system. The radiators and the plumbing are all new. Head height on the boat, 6 foot 3. Nice gate-leg dining table there. Snell shaped dinette here. This does convert into a spare double berth. Storage underneath. The bedboard bit for it is under the gunnels a bit further down the boat and there's a leg in the step. There's the other side hatch. One of three. Lovely lamps. That's the view from the galley. Really lovely room this. Lots of space. If you can say that about a narrowboat, I suppose. The galley is next. Eight feet long. There's oven and grill. That oven's actually never been used. That's new. It's a Thetford four burner. Um, sorry, oven and grill. There's a fridge underneath it. 12 volt shoreline with an ice box and storage next to it. Another side hatch over the stainless steel sink. Plenty of storage in the cupboards under here. Quite clever folding doors. A couple of drawers. And the full burner gas hob is here. Now under the hob in this cupboard, there used to be a washing machine. The plumbing and the power are still there, but as the new SIAC recycle will fit under there. The current owner just didn't want one, so he took it out and put shelves in. So that's where you put the washing machine. Thetford four burner gas hob. A couple of cupboards under the gunnels here. These are the eco tiles in here that I mentioned. They sort of slap together, but it's very neat. Down through the corridor to the bathroom. It's a Thetford cassette loo. Two cassettes on board. It's a lovely ceramic basin. Cupboards over the loo. The shower in here has all been renewed in the last year or so. There's quite a lot been done to this boat, to be honest, which is a good thing. Another radiator. There are three radiators on board. Into the bedroom. The bed itself is 
six foot four inches long, four feet two inches wide. The bedroom itself is nine foot seven inches. Storage under the bed there, plenty of. Useful little shelf above the head end of the bed. It's a great clock that, I really like that clock. At the foot of the bed, <clears throat> decent sized wardrobe. Hot water tanks in there. That was new in the last year. And the hot water's heated by the engine. <coughs> Excuse me, there were Basto or there is an immersion heater on board as well when you're hooked up to the landline. Into the engine room. All the floorboards in here are new. Very neatly arranged electrics. That's the inverter, it's a master volt. Two and a half kilowatt combi inverter charger. And there's the view from the helm. The engine's in here, it's a beta 43 PRM gearbox. The bank of batteries is in here, so 12 volts is supplied. The domestic, there's five 115 amp hour domestic batteries and one starter. 230 volts is your inverter there on the left of the screen or landline hookup. Let's have another walk back through. All the lighting is uh, LED. There are there are 160 watts of solar power when the chap bought this boat. He took them off, but he's still got the panels and the controller. They're available if required. It's got all the necessary navigation equipment, windlasses, piling irons, chains, ropes. There's even an anchor, chain and rope on board. Back through the galley. There's a lot of space on this boat, really. Plenty of room for people to sit. If you didn't want those armchairs, there'd be room for a sofa bed in there if numbers are your thing on a narrowboat. Offers a lot of options. So there we go. That's Wagtail. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price of course, go to our website www.rubberboat.co.uk. Lovely bows.